now there will be a small lecture by dr k n vasupalaya about the importance of nutrition in disease prevention in indian scenario good morning so dr chidambaram was referring to good morning now it is uh, whether morning noon and all and while i said it is good morning only for us uh, he was surprised yes why we see the people first time good morning it is not so in dxn always we say good morning because we are ever fresh as like morning because of spirulina ganaderma all the supplements which we take we keep exuberant always that is why good morning once again to all of you in chidambaram so honorable president of the function dr in chidambaram founder ceo and chairman of dxn holding limited dr limsiojin dato dr limsiojin secretary of the academy of medical sciences dr k kabali murthy president of ima chidambaram dr r baskaran project coordinator and who has taken the responsibility of completing this product project <coughs> our great friend uh, dr is ramesh <laughs> hod of pediatrics and chairman of academic activities uh, responsible for all these activities to initiate me motivate me induce me to this uh, philanthropic work my great friend dr s ranjan without him nothing would have been happened and uh, dr s rathi ethi rajan who has coordinated from the beginning motivating dr <laughs> our maniwasagam but for that uh, network i think we would not have been successful it is a wonderful network for health and prevention and immunity and all the dignitaries on the dais and off the dais ladies and gentlemen i know that the, the time is very very limited and anyhow i have a few aspects i would like to focus about the indian scenario being a economist retired economist but not a tired economist so as you know that we have been teaching lot of economics i was while i was a professor of economics on health illiteracy prevention of diseases and these are the areas and health cost health economics health economics is a big area as you know that we make the cost benefit analysis on the health investment health projects medical treatment so many aspects and since then i know that uh, the india which requires today not only india whole world requires today only one thing prevention prevention is the mantra for future health in the world and india there is no other option we have to go for prevention 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 for 1.3 billion population otherwise i think we will be erased that speed diseases are multiplying i don't want to give the statistics here because as you know that because of the time constraint but i know the each disease what is the percentage to the population what is the percentage to the world population in the in the case of india it may be diabetes it may be uh, hypertension it may be stroke it may be systemic failures it may be uh, viral and bacterial diseases huge disease burden we have to bear and as you know that latest uh, statistical survey in the case of us shows unless the us is going to control the this is that prevent the disease by 2026 us health budget is going to collapse that is the biggest worry for us president obama he is now thinking what to do what to do where to search for money for health insurance medical treatment admission hospitalization so many things if economic situation of health is uh, uh, you know so critical in the case of us you can imagine what is the situation of a developing country like india we are not even spending 
थ्री परसेंटेज ऑफ आवर जी डी पी ऑन द हेल्थ पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर वाइल ऑल दीज कंट्रीज आर स्पेंडिंग मोर देन टेन पर्स वर्ल्ड एवरेज इज अबाउट टेन एवन पोअरेस्ट ऑफ द पोअर कंट्रीज इथियोपिया और नाइजीरिया केनिया पाकिस्तान दे स्पेंड बेटर दैन इंडिया because of our size of the population is it is not possible by the government to spend so much on nursing the disease now i was looking into one of the states like karnataka they were telling assessing how many additional medical colleges were required recently while i read an article how many medical doctors are need required how many nurses are required how many primary health centers if you are going to look into that i don't think it is uh, possible by anybody to that extent to increase the number of hospitals doctors pharmacies drugs to match with the rise in the population uh, uh, sorry po population of diseases hence the only way is to go for a massive prevention and everybody have realized today as you know that one of the important problems if you are going to take up like uh, acute malnutrition and anemia prime minister of a country can declare in the parliament malnutrition is a national shame 42 percentage of the children in india below the age of 5 die because of acute malnutrition imagine the scenario of health it is not only acute malnutrition of children women pregnant women recent statistical survey of the health ministry of health it shows that 91 percentage of the women who are pregnant in india are not 100 percent safe for delivery because of the nutritional deficiency imagine what is the situation and what about the feeding mothers there is again anemia what about the working population 30 percentage of the working population between above age of 18 and below 60 it is said to be anemic and uh, above 60 percent, 70 percentage of the population are having the nutritional deficiency, and uh, these are all an indication that where we are going to in terms of multiplication of disease. Everywhere in the world, they have now understood that the only way is to prevent. As you know, that not only the rise in the disease, the number of diseases which are drug resistant, which is uh, even more dangerous than a terrorist threat recent analysis and survey done around the globe shows that like new delhi superbug all of you know where is much discussion around the globe because of the drug resistant bacteria and uh, multi drug resistant diseases are increasing that is why nutritionists doctors experts they are of the opinion that we have to go in a big way to um, promote the nutritional factor for the people to create immunity in the human body as you know that <coughs> nutritional immunodeficiency syndromes like aids nights is the big threat today nutritional immunodeficiency syndrome lot of diseases which are being caused because of the deficiency of nutrition so i thought being a sector being in a sector of promoting health prevention of disease along with the, our wonderful founder dr limsyojin and this wonderful product of spirulina we have emotionally promoted at the grassroots level to improve the nutritional level of not only dying children they are very critical it is very emotional saving the uh, life of a child saving the life of a child is more pious more precious than going to temple to me temple is only the next because saving life what god wants god wants you to save the life not kill the life and that way we thought while we have wanted to take up this project particularly the poorest of the poor children and girl babies we have selected girl children because as you know that even female feticide is still going on in india at the same time girl children are not given enough attention of normal nutrition food at home and naturally if we are of some use for such children girl children girl babies to save i thought and it they most appropriately those who have selected the project they have adopted i must thank dr manivasagam to selecting the girl children to this spirulina project and you can understand the cost is so effective so economical please don't have an 
in your mind that the cost is uh, unaffordable. With only 10 rupees, we can save a child. 10 rupees per day. 10 rupees only. Dr. Lim was surprised. He was thinking that we have given 5 grams, 6 grams, 7 grams. That is the critical condition of acute anemia where generally nutritionists or doctors suggest 3 to 5 grams. Dr. Esama Sagoda, he is an expert on spirulina. From, he is a spirulina bioscientist from Japan. He says five, 3 to 5 grams in the mild and moderate and acute anemia. But we have given 3 spirulina per day. In that tremendous result, I must uh, thank this whole uh, research group and experts and doctors, uh, paramedical staff and uh, uh, lab technicians who have done a wonderful work. I must appreciate and acknowledge that because they have recorded all the parameter, uh, body mass index, and height and weight, and um, head circumference, isn't it? And uh, even, uh, pardon? Biochemical. Ah, biochemical, all the, uh, because I am not a <laughs> technical expert. I don't know many of this. I don't know anything about medicine. I am an economist, only cost factor I am looking into. <laughs> and so I am referring to, but they have done a wonderful work. And Spilina is a wonderful product. And I have experimented on my own health last 13 years. My hemoglobin is 17.5. I am maintaining. And uh, you, you can get the blood from me anywhere you touch. <laughs> Thanks to Spirulina. Thanks to Nutrition. Wish you all the best. And uh, please support the project. I am sure uh, Dr. Lim will take up, uh, you know, uh, some announcement to have our permanent understanding with the uh, Annamala University, one of the oldest private universities in India. And uh, I congratulate all of you, particularly uh, Dr. Chidambaram giving such a tremendous support to the department. And uh, I must thank uh, all the bodies involved here and wish you all the best. Thank you very much. And I must thank uh, Seva Mandir School. Uh, Seva Mandir school head is here, I think, and those who have taken, thank you very much for uh, Parangipet for doing the wonderful work. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You have made our job much easier, sir. Now, uh, the next topic will be on prevention of disease in women and children by Dr. Ratna Vasupal. Dr. Ratna Vasupal is the first Crown Ambassador of DX in India. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So I am very happy to be here in a medical university. I am 40 years into allopathy. But now for the last five years I am promoting mainly spirulina and genoderma. Closing my nursing home. Okay. <laughs> when I was a medical uh, student or passed out, we friends used to discuss uh, which is the best specialty to do service or to make money. So I thought the best is to do pediatrics. But I know I am not an eligible candidate because it needs a lots of patients. Because you are dealing with the people, people means children who cannot speak. And you have to be like a god to identify with the signs. Understand? They won't speak out. And the moment you put your hand on the abdomen, they urinate. If it is a male baby, on your face. Okay. <laughs> so you must have lots of patience, concern, compassionate. So I thought I am not fit for that. The topic given to me is uh, prevention of uh, diseases in uh, our health problems in women and children. So I am happy because uh, women and children constitute almost 60% of the population. Okay, that's very important. In your house, it is not only the man or the men, it is the women and the children. Okay, so children have small stomach, but they need more nutrition. Okay, three spirulina is equivalent to in uh, vitamin, mineral, amino acids, trace elements, that is micronutrients, equivalent to the micronutrients you may get in one kg mixture of fruits and vegetables and the cost is only 10 rupees. What else you want? So it is, nothing can be cheaper than this. Okay, so three spirulina per day, just open it uh, and put it in water, 
and uh, give it our honey or uh, any juice okay the work is done not 1 kg mixture of fruits and vegetables that's not possible okay a cost factor time factor availability factor but that is needed every day for the, our biological cell to grow and replace repair regenerate so and god has given a small stomach to the children babies okay it goes still smaller and smaller because they eat pizza and other junk food and the children have to have good immunity otherwise always viral bacterial and uh, permanent infections they get into then nowadays you know a new delhi super bug the antibiotic resistant red terror alert has come okay that's why spirulina has gone up now because it has surfaced now spirulina has surfaced in uh, united nations you know who everywhere they say spirulina 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 because that is a one thing cheap and best with easily digestible that is very easy that is very important easily digestible one month old child can digest this spirulina because its walls under a ultra microscope it is so thin it will immediately open up once it go to the stomach easily digestible and 100% bio availability that's very important okay and children are the future of the society you know they have to be given uh, good food okay immune system because there are so many virus and bacteria in the air which we don't know we can give vaccination for hardly 10 to 15 uh, diseases we don't have for all the diseases of course this can give like a ak47 uh, gunman in front of your house nobody can enter your body cell that's a real immunity it can give you and uh, repeated infections will make them make their growth low and always uh, taking uh, antibiotics or uh, anti fever or and uh, when the fever comes uh, no diet they can't take uh, good diet okay they don't they lose appetite so full health goes down it will take one month to recover so children's brain development is very important it has so much of protein okay and liver and kidney all organs will develop very nicely so very simple every day minimum 3 spirulina or 1 gram spirulina okay you can give to child starting from from 15 days old baby nothing will happen just like multivitamin drug you can put it in the dropper to the mouth okay the work is finished then whatever you have in the house you can give nothing to worry so coming to women section okay so women form almost 30 to 35% of the population and uh, they are the you can say the queens of the house queens anemic queens okay they are anemic they have got food they have prepared food but many times they don't have time to eat the food the breakfast and lunch become brunch because sending the husband to officer business and children to school and uh, receiving the maid servant and watching them and bringing the things everything so they have more stress physically mentally economically okay budget is fixed so they have more stress along with that they have more hormone imbalance starting from 20 to 45 50 years of age and that th- those two are the real reason scientific studies say one out of 10 lady going for cancer either of uh, gynecology that is uh, uterus ovary or uh, liver breast okay these three four organs one of the 10 but it is very difficult to diagnose it is submarine okay so it is easy to prevent just daily 2 grams of spirulina only 2 grams of spirulina along with that it will also keep them away from viral disorders which is in the air keep the body alkaline when the body fluid become acidic all the viruses settle in our body okay especially in summer season there's a reason why children get measles mumps and all viral disorders okay so in the summer you must take more of spirulina uh, that's 100% alkaline zero cholesterol it has more than 47 uh, nutritional items like vitamins minerals amino acids by the way all of most of your doctors you may be knowing that uh, why your name vitamin came so mr kashmiri alge scientist scientist he uh, he named it as vitamins because these are all vital to vital amines to our vital organs so usually we used to write uh, vitamins b complex multivitamin after a patient uh, is discharged convalescent because uh, they could not eat properly but later now they have found out of late that it is because of the deficiencies of these vitamins we get into diseases okay not giving afterwards you start every day then the diseases will not come immune system that's very important immune system is also responsible for cancer you know so many things and uh, only simple thing green is pro health 
ok, white is anti health ok and uh, white you know all sugar salt all those things. But ladies health is very important you see if uh, the lady in your house uh, maybe your wife or sister or mother whoever is in charge of cooking if they fall ill you have to bring food, food from the hotel ok or you have to be a good chef ok. So these days girls would like to marry good chef so that that burden stress will not be there. See cooking is not easy ok I hate two things one is cooking one is driving ok <laughs> because driving you have to meet so many things in the in the road on the road you may be correct others may be wrong <laughs> ok so that is why tension stress to the mind and the body cells body cells mainly by non supply of the uh, uh, this one important ingredients like maybe oxygen nutrition hormone to prepare uh, hemopoietin and also blood everything in the body all biochemical ok. So that everything has to go through nutrition only so we are very happy now that the uh, medical profession is uh, focusing on uh, nutrition and wellness and the first health university it came in newspaper day before yesterday first health university in India is going to open in Bhuvaneshwar Orissa we were in Bhuvaneshwar last week six seven meetings we gave so health universities are also required of course doctors are definitely indispensable but unfortunately the virus and bacteria are becoming drug resistant ok so we have to prevent them that is our aim now we have to prevent them through nutrition and uh, wellness items and spirulina stands number one in that we must understand spirulina is the real life see a lady conceives and uh, she cannot deliver she will have miscarriage because of hormonal imbalance nutritional deficiencies everything it will cover if they take 6 to 10 enough and hemoglobin that is very important HB ok and uh, after delivery she has to give the milk to the baby lactating mother will go still anemic ok and her body swells she will become pale you can see a lady and just without any information you can say she has delivered a baby because the face, face is so pale ok with a dexarange bottle in their hand ok which works or not but they take it ok because hemoglobin does not it breaks down only iron works. So in our uh, project report so we are very happy to see that hemoglobin has risen to each and every 160 people ferritin, phosphorus, sodium, iodine every item potassium everything has raised to the normal just by 3 and uh, our uh, big boss big brain ok <laughs> that or Dr. Lim Siyojin ok he was surprised to know that we gave only 3 spirulina as uh, per the advice by Dr. Mani Vasagam pediatrician only 3 spirulina uh, only 3 spirulina kudutu paakla appra paakla and chonnango then after uh, 3 months he told 90 people have come above normal uh, we will continue with another 60 with uh, continue same dosage ok again we did the blood test so throughout we had guidance from them just we are the product supplier and we feel happy that it has been used uh, for the tsunami affected girl children so yeah so below 11 years ok so girl children you know they are the uh, what to say they are the foundation of the society you know which doctor is uh, more uh, uh, what to say every doctor of course specialty obstetrician because it is the decision of the obstetrician to take out the baby on time in a good structure ok not uh, forceps are breaking that decides the fate of the society ok the intervention of a obstetrician on time but for that they have to have patients monitor and they should be available ok so like that but like that the society depends upon mostly pediatricians and uh, obstetricians I have great respect for pediatricians because they must have patients otherwise they cannot go with this profession so they are like child but they are big child <laughs> means they know everything but they must have the uh, patience and uh, uh, what to say tolerance of the child ok not like uh, surgeons who just <laughs> cut suture and got away <laughs> ok the rest is to be healed ok but anyhow everybody uh, will do their uh, job um, good and uh, I am very happy that I am from uh, uh, allopathy uh, profession and uh, because uh, my doctor friend classmate in Mysore medical in 1968 to 73 40 years back ok he, he was my batchmate 
and uh, after uh, he left india 25 years uh, later he came with uh, products he was uh, he was a scientist and uh, he is a mushroom biology council and uh, spirulina specialist also dr lim seojin sent him to india to find out some place where uh, this company can come up and he came and got hold of me i think you are the correct person I initially like any allopathy doctor i said no i don't believe in any herbs any other things other than drugs but now <laughs> now i am really scared after knowing drug resistance if i get tb okay because everybody is breathing 30% of the population are tb positive that to in ac room it is highly possible <laughs> okay so now we are not that much worried because we take spirulina in competition my husband takes 25 i take 20 sometime 30 okay i don't tell him <laughs> okay <laughs> means this is the food supplement what is a food supplement basically because there is a difference between drug and food supplement drugs are for uh, disease in dose by pharmaceuticals prepared mostly inorganic but food supplements are uh, nutraceuticals okay it is organic natural one and uh, according to food supplement and health education act of 1994 american congress it says anything grown naturally in the garden like a herb other than tobacco or anything botanically like mushroom or any root or shoot and it must give our body at least one vitamin or one mineral or one amino acid or one trace element then only it comes under the category of that licensing so there are so many in this world and we have one of the best one spirulina and all the quality and it's uh, uh, even culture is uh, done so that e coli is not there okay and uh, other bacteria are not there and uh, uh, heavy metals are not there so that one can continue to take it without any damage to liver and kidney so we have the uh, best product and uh, be, uh, best way cultivated okay by spending more amount on that and uh, taking care of that and packaging everything and even we have spirulina cereal so like that cereal like you know powder people can just mix it with the water and give it to children so uh, i request all of you to focus your uh, mind uh, for a while into spirulina read about spirulina you can go www.spirulina.com even i have brought some books i can give it to somebody who is interested they can collect it here okay spirulina and imsam in tamil and in english i have brought 90 books to be given to people who are interested okay thank you all for your patient hearing thank you, thank you. Thank you, madam. I think all husbands will start cooking from today. <laughs> Now we have presentation of certificates by our Dr. Lim Seo. Thank you. 